Um, okay, really annoying. I just recorded a few clips this morning and then I've just watched them back and they were all in slow-mo and I have no idea how I did that on the camera and I just had to Google how to undo it um, because I'm a camera novice. But I woke up at 6.30 this morning and um, I didn't really vlog yesterday because it was just kind of hectic. I was moving hotels, I went to pick up my car, but uh, I kind of spent the rest of the day mooching because I had to check out of my hotel at 11. I had all of my bags and I couldn't check into here until three. I managed to get in a little bit earlier, but I ended up going for um, like a really late breakfast at this place called The Butcher's Daughter, which I thought was fully vegan. And if you have been following along on my Instagram stories, you'll see that um, it's not fully vegan and it's actually, hang on. I'm gonna just rest you on here. It's actually like plant forward. Um, and I ordered an egg sandwich thinking it was gonna be like some sort of plant-based alternative. And it was just an omelet in a sandwich. Um, I've followed a plant-based diet for the last five years, but recently I've had loads of cravings for things like um, fish and eggs. And, um, and yeah, I think I'm gonna start incorporating them. But basically I, I ate the sandwich and I really enjoyed it. And I've, I've put it all on my Instagram stories because obviously that, I grew that following. God, my hair is wild. I grew that following being plant-based. And so I just felt like I wanted to be honest about the situation. But anyway, so I went and had that. And then I kind of was just like walking around for a bit. And then I came here to my hotel at like 1.32. And luckily they let me check in early. The room was ready. So I'm here now. And then last night I met up with my friend Gabby who lives here. She's like one of my oldest. I think I've known her like the longest I've known anyone I'm still in touch with. Um, we've known each other since we were like three or something. Um, she's like a sister to me and her mum's like a mum to me as well. So that was really nice. She lives here. So we went to go see each other and I went and saw her new house and she took me for an infrared sauna, which was so random, but I really enjoyed it. And it felt really good because I've, I've just come, like I'm on the back end of illness. So it, I feel this morning like I've woken up feeling really good. So that's nice. And then we went out for dinner and I had a margarita pizza, which with real cheese, which I haven't had in so long. It was quite a lot. I enjoyed the first few bites, but then it felt a little bit sickly. So I think I need to kind of, I don't know if that's something I'm gonna continue doing really. Um, and my stomach felt fine afterwards as well, which was all good. But anyway, that was yesterday. And so today I woke up at 6.30, which is great. I feel like I'm gonna slowly get over the jet lag by tomorrow. Um, and I think today I'm gonna go to Palisades Village, which is on its way to Malibu. And then I'm gonna go to Malibu and check out the beach there. Um, and then tonight I have a really important meeting with some people. I cannot disclose fully, but that's at six. And it's right now it's, 10 to 9 so I'm gonna jump in the shower and then I'll do a quick fit check and get on the road day two LA vlog begins just got ready I don't know if you're gonna be able to see my whole outfit but I am wearing yeah this is not lighting in here it's horrendous it's a really dark room that's like my only maybe from here oh god so I'm wearing a grey tank from Mango. These jeans are actually Mango as well. The belt is like a super old, I think it's a really old Topshop number, so it's vintage. And then the shoes, I'm wearing these like pointy shoes, which I'm obsessed with. They are flats, they're from Totem. They're a bit of a splurge, but I really love them. And then because it is a little bit cold, I have this jacket from Cos, which is quite light um, and a little bit, like it looks quite formal but I yeah, I really like it it's got this little collar I might just do up the top button so that yeah and then Sunny's uh, little bag from Prada the nylon one which is like perfect and then the Sunny's are from Kate and Oliver Peoples so let's go to Palisades is that what it's called Palisades Palisades I don't know so I have just arrived in Palisades which I learned it's Palisades and not Palisades because I said it to the guy at reception and he was like, oh, you mean Palisades. Um, it kind of looks like Vista Village, which is interesting. There's an Air One here. 
this so I'm gonna get some lunch from there I'm just paying for my parking um, the parking meters here are really cool so you basically like it's like this and then you put it on and um, if for example I turned up and there was like 20 minutes left on here I could just use that which is so interesting wild anyway I will show you what the place looks like in a second do you see what I mean it's like very much best of village vibes um, I'm slightly concerned I'm gonna spend a pretty penny in here Veronica Bird, aloe oh I might get some aloe stuff is bon and there's an air one so I'm gonna go get some lunch Okay, I just spent like $40 on lunch, which is crazy, but it is what it is. I'll show you what I got. I'm really hungry. It's actually only 11.20, but I haven't had breakfast, so I'm going straight in for lunch. So technically, this is breakfast and lunch, so it's like $20 per meal. Go on there. So I got this Air One. Uh, tofu and then this is a combo plate which I can't open. This is so random but it was kind of the best I could do. I got broccoli, black beans and cauliflower. Really I've got a spoon for these black beans but whatever. I'm gonna try the tofu first. It smells so good. I'm also cringing out that I'm doing this in public but I feel like I don't know anyone here no one knows me so we just gotta do it okay first thoughts is this tofu is really fucking hard mm, that is delicious banging okay Try the cauliflower next. This is what we're working with. Mm. That's really nice. It's crunchy. Guys, I got so awkward here. Someone came and sat next to me and I was like, I had the camera propped up in front of me and I felt so awkward. I need to get used to this like vlogging and public stuff. Wow. And the broccoli is so sorry for how dark it was. It was so sunny. I couldn't really see like what I was filming. But anyway, you get the gist. Mm. Can't go wrong with broccoli. So I've just got back to my hotel room. Um, I had a look at Malibu and I went to this cute little place called Country Mart in Malibu, which is also like a little shopping centre. Um, and it was cute. I was going to go to the beach, but I didn't really know what the best way to get there was. I know it's like directly across, but um, I, I kind of drove all along the coast and that was really, really nice. And like I was wearing jeans and I, I wasn't really like in a beachy fit and I don't love getting sand everywhere so I just looked at it from afar and it was really beautiful but actually driving has made me really really want to do a um like a US road trip I feel like the landscapes are so cool but I went back to Air One and bought some snacks to bring home so let's do a haul so I got some watermelon which I've already eaten some of it was delicious very ripe and yummy I didn't really get that much because obviously I've only got like a little mini bar here and there's not that much I can do um, I got some sun poppers some crisps they are vegan sour cream and onion if you know me I love oh that's really interesting I was not expecting them to look like that um, I love anything that makes a breast spell. So sour cream and chive, pickled onion. Mm. I feel like these need salt. <laughs> mm. A very strange texture. 
some people outside my door. Mm. They're kind of like, they're crisp for like the first bite and then they go really soft. I don't know, almost like polystyrene. <laughs> Okay, and then I got this, which is raw kale tri chips, ranch flavor. Also, I feel like anytime you say ranch, you have to say it like ranch. Um, it just sounds wrong saying it in ranch, but they sound really crispy. So, and I actually really like kale chips. And I swear I'm not like a health nut. Oh my God, I can't get into it. How the hell? Oh my god. Okay. Oh, they smell really good. Mmm. Cameron would love these. Mmm. Yum. They're really good. So these are made with kale, cashews, olive oil, garlic, cider vinegar. Nutritional yeast, lemon, agave, onion powder, dill, which I don't normally like, but actually you can't really taste it in this. Celtic sea salt and black pepper, and it's obviously it's all organic it's from Air One. Supermarket of the gods. Mmm. Mmm. And then, the last two things. Mmm. Three things, I forgot. I got this bitch and sauce, which is like honestly the best thing ever. I tried this in the Bahamas um, because they would sell it there. And it's basically like a sauce made from almonds. This is the spinach and artichoke one. Their original one is unreal as well. And I also like the green onion one, which is spring onion for anyone from the UK. And it is just really, really nice. It's like a dip. You could put it in sandwiches. Um, I really like it with carrots and stuff like that. Oh, I should have bought some like carrots i didn't i got everything but the bagel seasoning sourdough crackers made with texan grown heirloom wheat and organic extra virgin olive oil but i just thought they'd make quite nice dippers and i quite like a cracker they look like that i'm gonna open this guy Oh shit, I think I'm gonna need a knife. Oh, I have scissors, hang on. Oh no. Oh no, I'm in. Yes. Wait, that needs to go straight in the bin. Mmm. So, the sauce. Let's give it a little mix. I don't know if I said this already, but it's like almond based, which I really like. Mmm. I'm such a savoury snack person during the day and then at night time, like the second I finish my meal, I'm like, I need sweet stuff. I did buy something sweet. This is an Air One oatmeal and chocolate chip cookie. And it's made all vegan. Yay. So I'll be tapping into that later. I'm gonna have some more of my snacks. I'm not super keen on these guys. I mean, I think they're just a bit too healthy. I like, when I, when I have crisps, I like a, cri like a crisp. Like, I want it to be, like, fried, crunchy, like, uber salty. Do you feel, like, really healthy? Um, also, I feel like my experience with Air One, I think I had really high hopes for it. And I have to say, like, I wasn't, like, mega impressed. I mean, like, it's beautiful and all of the produce looks amazing. And they do have an amazing hot bar, like I showed you my lunch. Um, but I, I don't know why I wasn't, like, wow. And also the one that I went into on my way back getting this these snacks, the aisles were, like, so close together. I think it was, like, almost like a full arm's width between aisles. And, like, when I'm looking at stuff, I like to stand back so I can take in everything. 
I mean, you just couldn't do that there because it, you'd been in this aisle with like six other people and everyone was like, oh, excuse me, excuse me. And everyone's like carrying their baskets. God forbid someone's got a bloody trolley. There's no chance. So that kind of stress, it like, in terms of like the shopping experience, it kind of ruined it for me. That dip, it was so good. Um, and also in terms of the prices, it is crazy expensive, but actually it's not too dissimilar from going like, uh, when you go shopping, like supermarket shopping in the Bahamas where I was working, it's very similar. Although I was spending my own money this time, usually I was spending my clients' money, so. I also, I did a bit of shopping. I bought some shoes, which I definitely don't need, but I have, I'm like a shoe and sunglasses pers person and bags now recently as well, which is bad because bags are really expensive, but um, I love shoes and I love sunglasses and I was perusing around the Palades, Paralades, Palisades, Palisades, I can't remember what it's called, anyway the area I went to first um, that I said was like a Vista Village even though it was like full prices <laughs> um, and I tried these shoes on and then I did I left and I was like I'll think about it and then I like had a look at the conversion rate and actually if I bought these in London they would have been like 70 pounds more expensive so I was like well technically I'm making money um my girl math this trip is gonna be horrendous but whatever anyway they're from Annie Bing and they're just very very cute um and I'm really into their flats and I'm really into like the ballet but pointed toe flats <clears throat> So, and I think for summer, they're really, really very cute. So these are them. And I'm just obsessed with them. I love them. I think they're so cute. Like under a pair of like really long baggy jeans, like blue jeans with like a cute tank top and just a bag. Um, or even with the jeans I'm wearing now, they look really cute. And I love them. I love a pointed toe so much, which I shouldn't because I've got really big feet for considering how tall I am. I'm a size six and I'm only like five foot four like an L shape um but yeah I couldn't resist and I technically made money on them because <laughs> I didn't I would have spent 70 pounds more in the UK so there you go